What up, what up? Winbush here. Today I'm excited to do something a little bit different. Today I'm going to show you how to make Instagram posts using Adobe Sparks. Now this comes from inspiration from Chris Doe. If you go to his Instagram page, you'll see that he's using like simple type with nice bold legible letters. And so you can literally do this within minutes on Adobe Spark. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so to get started, like I said, we're going to make something similar what Chris Doe's been doing recently on Instagram. So if I pull up his Instagram and I look at some of these IG posts that he's been making, there you know, they're like, they're big, trendy texts, you know? They're really easy to read. You go through, they usually have like a simple icon or design in there. So just really displaying what you wanna get across to your viewers. And we can easily make stuff like this with Adobe Spark. So let me jump right into it and show you how you can start making these type of posts. So I wanna go and start with my Creative Cloud. And once you pull this up, there's actually a thing here on the left-hand side that says social media. So if I click on this and then go down to Adobe Spark, it's actually going to launch inside of our web browser here. And so Adobe Spark's all web-based, which is really cool. We don't have to download any programs. And as you can see here, I've done some stuff in the past already, like I'm working on my EPK right now. Um, I did an Adobe post, or not an Adobe post, but an IG post with me and Mixmaster Mike there holding up trophies just to kind of test everything out. And then I also did like a YouTube thumbnail for the latest tutorial that I did for this Respawn EA logo intro. And so if I come up here, if you want to get started, we have some good templates here. Like we have IG story, we have an Instagram post, a Facebook cover. And then there's a whole bunch of stuff here to get started, but let's start with the Instagram post. And this usually takes like a couple of seconds to get loaded up. And once we do, if you look here on our right hand side, we have a bunch of templates that we can start off with. And so if there's something that you wanna do in particular, you could go up to the search bar and let's say I wanna do inspirational. So I just type in inspirational, which I already did earlier, so it should pop up here. There we go. Okay, so now we have a whole bunch of different layouts that we could use as a good starting off point or we can actually use what's here and just change out the type. So depending on what you wanna do, this gives you the good kickoff point. And I like this one here. That looks like that might be Gandhi. Let me click on that. Yep, so that's Gandhi right there. And this is premium template. So I believe with this one, you can only use it if you have an Adobe Creative Cloud account. So let me hit create. Okay, so it looks like we're all good to go now. Everything's loaded in. And so we have our quote here, in a gentle way, you can shake the world by Gandhi. So I, I kind of like that. So I think I'm just gonna take this and make it my own. So if I click on this, I'll be able to change out my font. And I know right now the trend is like big legible font. So if you scroll over here on your right hand side, I like that one, what is this, Bebus new regular? Let me click on that. So yeah, I like the way that this looks. It's bold, it's legible, it's easy to read. So if I wanna change the size, we could do it one of two ways. I can actually change the sizing here, or I could just click and drag it to how large I want. So I think something like that is good. Then I'm gonna bring up Gandhi's name here, make sure to give him credit. Then I'm gonna change the font for this as well to the same one. And then if I wanna justify this, it works just like After Effects or Photoshop or Illustrator. That you could just click and then hold down the shift key, click your other text, and then over here you'll have the align tool. So if I click on that, now everything is left aligned and you can change your justification here too. So if you want to center a line, right a line, but I like it like this. And so now let me change the color. So if you look over here on the right, we have a whole bunch of options over here. I'm gonna go to color and I'm just gonna make it white because I'm gonna change out this background as well. I'm actually gonna use my photo. So if I click on the background, you see we can move it around, but I'm just actually gonna hit delete on there. And then I'm gonna click just off site here, click on, actually, let me click on this background here because I'm gonna go to add, or actually image, sorry. So I'm gonna go click on this, click on image and upload photo. And I'm actually gonna upload one of my photos here that I took at one of the studios when we we're doing a shoot. But yeah, so now I can use my image here in the background and I don't like it in focus like this. Like I wanna make it a little bit more abstract so we're not really cluttering up with the text here. So what I do is if I click on my picture here, click on, let's say filters, I can come over here 
and I can kind of play around with these different filters until I get something that I like. So something like colorize might work. And if I click on shuffle, it's just shuffling between all the different colors. Let's see what other options I have here. I could blur it a little bit like so. And then I can also take this Gandhi picture and um, let's change the color to white, make him a little bit more legible. So something like that. And then over here we have a hashtag. It says Wednesday Wisdom. Let's change the color on this one as well. Make this white. And then if you see this right here, it says shape. We can actually put like a shape behind our text. So it makes it a little bit more legible. Then if we go down to color, we have like these different color swatches that it will kind of give us these options here. Like if you wanted to have black and gray, it will give us suggestions here as well. Like something like that could even look cool. And yeah, something like that looks cool. And if I want to do it to Gandhi's name as well, just come over here, click shape. So you could put a box behind it. You can have it be a whole stripe out. There's a whole bunch of different options that you have here. You pick all these different shapes. You could just kind of have lines going like that, which I think that looks pretty cool. Maybe keep it something like that. And then, um, yeah, I think this is good to go. We're ready to post this up on Instagram. So if you wanna, um, if you wanna download your image, just come up here to download. You're able to download a PNG, a JPEG, or a PDF. And then so from there, you just click download and you're good to go. And then say that you wanted to use this on other things like an Instagram story or on Facebook, you have options to resize it and it's gonna keep everything the way that it is. So if I come down to here to resize, we have these templates here. So if I wanted to upload this to Instagram stories as well, click on this and it automatically boxes it for that size and it keeps everything how it should be. You know, you might just have to make a few adjustments here because it looks like it put his name down pretty far. So I'm just gonna click and drag that up. And then I can take Gani's picture, and drag that down. Then we're good to go for IG stories. You can also do IG landscape. You know, you just might have to make a few adjustments here, but for the most part, it keeps everything as it should be laid out. You know, click on Facebook. So you have a whole bunch of different options here. So it's kind of like you can make one design and then you can export it for several different social media platforms and even for a YouTube thumbnail, which we have right here. And so hopefully this helps you guys out. You know, as artists, it's always good to stay up to date on your different social media platforms. So if you don't have time to keep constantly putting up renders, this is a quick and easy way that you can actually put up a good post up on your Instagram and still stay relevant within your fan base. So hopefully this helped you guys out. You know, it's something that I typically don't do this type of tutorial, but I felt it was something important for us as artists that want to get our work out there and kind of build our numbers up on like the different social media platforms. This is a quick and easy way that you could do it without trying to do like a daily render every day, because I know how intense that gets, especially for those of us that are working on client projects. So if you did want to make a post, this is an easy way to do it. So if this did help y'all, make sure you leave me a comment down below. Give this channel a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. And if you guys are interested in knowing how to make an EPK for yourself, make sure you let me know and I'll do a tutorial on that also. And so until next time, take care. I'll catch you in the next video. See you soon.